What's up guys, welcome to your 22nd Java tutorial again with me Travis. What we're going to do is we're going to finish up our application. Hopefully, yeah, we should get it done in this tutorial. Um, and now all we've done so far is we've set up our array, integer array, and we set each value to be a random number. That's where we left off. Now we want to check if that number is divisible by 2. And we, basically what that's saying is if we divide that number within the position of our array by 2, we should get a remainder of zero. If it's if the remainder is anything but zero, that means it's not divisible by two. So what we're going to do within our for loop after we've established the position of our array, we're going to check if it's divisible by two. So we're going to set up an if statement, and again, this is going to be kind of a review of the modulus. We're just going to say i, um, the position i, which we're currently at within our for loop. We're going to use the modulus, divide by 2, and if we're going to say if that's equal to be 0, and when we're comparing, we want to use a double equal sign here. If that's equal to 0, then that means this number is divisible by 2. So we're just going to give our brackets here, and we're going to say, uh, we're just going to copy this line of code because we're kind of lazy, and paste it here, and we're going to say, we're going to say within quotations, true. You know, something like that, and then we're going to do a plus, and we're going to give our num one, or I'm sorry, not one, current position, plus again, and is divisible uh, by two. And then we're going to create an else statement. Well, we're just going to copy, whoops, and we're just going to change this to be false, and we're going to just add a not in there. And we're cool. We're good to go. So when we save this, run it. Um, we can tell that we lost the game, but we want to have an overall, you know, checker that's going to say we won the game or we lost the game. So that's what we're going to set up now. What we're going to do is we're going to create a boolean value, and again, booleans are basically true or false. So we're going to call this game, uh, game result maybe. We're going to set this equal to be false, or we're going to set this equal to be true to begin with. And now, after we get through our for loop, so as you can see here, it starts here and ends here, this is where we're going to check if our game result is still equal to be true. So we're going to say if uh, game result, whoa, can't spell worth anything, and we can say equal to be tr uh, true then we can do whatever is within the else statement or within the bracket here. But if we don't put like an equal equal sign or comparing it to anything, it's still going to evaluate because this is a true or false statement. So if it's true, it's going to do whatever is in here. If it's false, it's going to go to the else statement. See how that works? Pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste again our line of code here and we're going to say, uh, you have one. And uh, you know that's cool. And also, we want to have a, you know, you have lost. You have lost, sucker. Something like that. And uh, there we go. Good to go, right? But the only problem that you guys have probably figured out is this is always going to return true because. You know, we set our Boolean value to equal true, and it's going to be like the game result. Okay, it's going to win every time. So what we want to do is within this if-else statement up here, when we're checking each number individually through our for loop, we either print out true or false. It's, uh, you know, divisible by 2 or it's not. And if one of our numbers is not divisible by 2, it's going to go to this else, else statement where we print out false. Here is where we can also just say game result is equal to false. And if it ever goes to this line of code, these lines of code here, our game result is going to be equal to false. And there's no way to uh, turn it back to true unless if we, you know, type in obviously uh, game result is true like right here or somewhere else. Um, but since we aren't giving it any other option to change, um, we're only changing it to be false if this happens. So that's going to be a quick check and our game should be complete. As you can see, I've lost this game. Um, 
lost this game. Man, this is a tough game. Let's say we want to win one. Let's give us some better odds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our, our integer array up here and just change this to 1. And as you can see, we related pretty much everything to the length of this array. As you can see, you know, right here, um, we're checking the length. So it's only going to loop through once, and it's still going to call all the methods. Everything's going to be working smoothly, and we still lost. So that sucks. But uh, there we go. We won. 98 is divisible by 2. But, you know, we can do this with anything pretty much. We can do this game with 10, which we're probably going to lose because that's kind of difficult to win. Yeah, we lost. So there we go. Um, our game's pretty much complete.